Okay, we are in the downstairs guest bedroom. And I don't think there's any attic above me, so we're doing uh, ceiling scans of the portions of the attic that I believe you have free attic space above you. Okay, if, if it's the upstairs bedrooms and stuff, I mean, I'll, I'll still look at it to see if we got any leaks or anything. In fact, that's not a bad idea. Let's just do all the ceilings. Moving on along, we're in the kitchen area here. And I'm moving towards, there's a little spot on the ceiling. And it looks like it's been dry forever. And uh, infrared's not showing us anything either. Got a little bit of thermal bridging right there. That's not a bad thing. I got some more thermal bridging. It gets a little more exciting over here, doesn't it? That's where the devil hides is in the details. Okay, so we are in the great family room. And again, this is thermal bridging. And if we look at the differences in the temperatures, okay, difference in the temperatures... Okay, it's pretty hot right up there. I'm going to take a picture of that. But I don't know what you're going to be able to do about it. It should have been... And again, a lot of this is thermal bridging. But that's, that's an abnormality. We're moving into the primary bedroom suite here. This is more like the thermal bridging I'm used to seeing, right? He's that as a comparison with the living room. Okay, this is the great bedroom. This is the primary bedroom. This is the south wall. That's the thermal bridging. All that other thermal bridging we're just, uh, spending some time on. Okay, that was a lovely, great family room. Thermal bridging still. In fact, that might even be some leftover from the air conditioning high pressure line. Okay, we're unwinding out of the primary bedroom and we're going to make our way upstairs. We're in the upstairs common area. Again, this is the type of thermal bridging we're used to seeing. It's just a little more exciting over there. We are in the southeast bedroom. Northeast bedroom. 